Hey there, fellow claw players. I am the guy by the name of Alan Kavorka from BeTheClaw.com, and today I have an unboxing video for you. I didn't actually buy or trade any plush. What I have here in the box is an Aaron Hips Claw. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, what in the world is an Aaron Hips Claw? I will tell you. Uh, I was in a live stream uh, a couple weeks ago, and um, there was a fellow by the name of Aaron Hips. You, you might be familiar with him, and he pointed me to a uh, an eBay auction uh, where they were selling a Sugarloaf Treasure Shop claw. So I went to, to eBay and I bought it. If you're wondering why I bought it, considering that I already have a Treasure Shop claw, well, it actually came with the entire cylinder. It's so basically a complete assembly minus the the, the inside internal parts. Um, it's actually kind of different from the claw assembly that I have in my uh, Greyhound crane um, and it's actually a little bit better and it's a little bit more adjustable so um, I bought it and I'm going to show you what's in the box and uh, show you the difference between this one and the one that I have right now so let's take a look all right here we go Drum roll. Ta da. And here, my friends, is the actual Sugarloaf Treasure Shop Claw. Here are the two claws side by side. You can see that they are pretty identical. Um, I bought my claw fingers directly from uh, the maker of Sugarloaf. Um, so these are the same. Uh, the biggest difference is that the Sugarloaf Claw has a ring around the cylinder which can be adjusted up and down so that I can control the overbite. So if I, if I pull this higher it won't, um, it won't have as much of an overbite. Whereas with the Greyhound, Greyhound Claw there, is, there really isn't much um, in terms of adjustment. Uh, the only thing I could do I was put the little uh, rubber gasket there at the bottom of the shaft to prevent it from closing too far. Uh, but this uh, the, the, this ring around the cylinder will um, allow me to adjust it to um, exactly the way I want and give it the exact amount of overbite or you know less overbite or whatever. Um, and another difference is that the base uh, this little triangular piece where the claw fingers come together. Now, this piece is much more, uh, much heavier than the one on the Greyhound claw, um, and this will allow me to uh, install a, a large claw from, to, um, that I use for my plush. And uh, the, the issue that I had when I installed my uh, large claw with this uh, assembly, it wasn't opening far enough because this piece wasn't heavy and it wasn't pulling down to open the claw to grab larger prizes. This piece is much heavier so it, it will have enough weight to open the claw entirely to get around the larger items. Um, so that's pretty much it. So now I'm gonna do a little swap and um, install the um, the Sugarloaf claw basically replace this with the new one that I got. And now all we need to do is Remove the coil. And insert it into the Sugarloaf assembly. And we find that it doesn't fit. And it doesn't go in because the Sugarloaf shaft is thicker 
than the hole in the coil. So that is a bit of a setback. Which we'll need to figure out. So what I'm going to try to do now is um, remove the screw at the bottom and replace this shaft with the one that comes with the Greyhound Claw. Okay, so now I replace the, um, the shaft with the thinner one from the Greyhound. You can see that it's um, smaller than the opening in the base of the cylinder. Um, but since it's a pretty snug fit inside um, the coil, it, it should um, work pretty well. So we'll put the coil inside and see how it fits. Now we got a good solid fit. And now we can install the claw back onto the crane. Alright, so now we have this claw is a little bit long, the cylinder is a little bit longer, but So technically now we have a functioning claw. The only issue right now is that um, overbite is a little too much. So we'll need to adjust this. As you can see here, that's pretty big overbite. So we need to raise up the, this to and then tighten using a little wrench. That should be a good overbite. Slight change of plans. Um, what I've decided to do uh, is that I'm going to use uh, the new base that I just got uh, with the Sugarloaf claw, the large claw for, for the plush, and I'm going to use it on the um, Greyhound cylinder. Uh, the reason for that is just the way this is, the claw closes exactly like I would want it to there's no adjustment needed so this is pretty much um, good to go as it is what I'm gonna do for the jewelry claw I'm gonna use the new uh, cylinder that I have with the adjustment ring and I'm gonna use the, uh, the little base here that I had from another claw that I had previously uh, this has a little washer to keep the claw from opening too far now uh, there's a washer here at the base and the, the, the ring will allow me to adjust overbite to, to be exactly what I want. Uh, so that's pretty much, I think, is going to be my setup. So uh, let's give it a shot and um, do a free few test grabs and see how it works out. interesting it fell right back into the price uh, price field well at least you can tell that uh, it's working uh, let's I'll try for some other things let's see if I can get that weird looking animal back there field as well. Now uh, let's see if we can get them. All right. Let's do a few more tries. 
Let's see if we can get anything else. Let me try for that hedgehog. Well, that demonstrates this claw nicely. I'm going to do a few tries with the plush claw and see how that one works. So that swap took only about a minute. Um, this is the uh, Greyhound cylinder with Sugarloaf base and plush claw. So let's try to win some stuff. For the purposes of, of this demo, um, the strength is relatively high, but that way I don't waste too much time. Let's try to get that bear. And let's go for the lion. Oh, two and one. Looks like I got a car in there too. This was my first ever two and one, I think. All right, let's go for Tweety. Sure, if I'm going to be able to get Tweety. Actually, let's get the bear out of the way first. Definitely tell the claw is pretty strong. Oop. By the foot. All right. Well, I think that uh, that pretty much covers it. This is the. Uh, Sugarloaf plush claw with the base and Greyhound cylinder. Uh, that works pretty well. So I'll just need to do some adjustment to get it to the strength I like so that it's not too hard and not too easy. And for the time being, I'll probably keep the jewelry claw on there so I can practice some of the jewelry items that are in there. Well, my friends, uh, I hope you found this somewhat interesting. Uh, tune in for future videos. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.